Hello everyone, Photo Tom here. This is a video about locations that you could photograph in 2020. Yes, these are photo tours that I'm organizing and I know some of you prefer to go and photograph by themselves in these locations. But if you want to photograph in these places and have the help of a photo guide like me and um, have suggestions in terms of composition, finding subjects, settings, editing sessions, discussing all sorts of other things related to photography. So if you want to explore these places with a group and with a photo guide, then you can choose me and you can come and join me in one of my photo tours. Now let's go through three of my photo tours from next year. I think these are my best photo tours from uh, 2020. And the first one is in Tuscany. It's going to take place in May. It's going to take place from May 11 to May 17. And spring in Tuscany, I think it's the best moment to be there. Yes, it can be cold, it can be rainy, and it can be muddy. And sometimes really muddy. But that is the place when you have the chance to see the beautiful puppies, the beautiful flowers in the fields, uh, mist during sunrise, uh, and also dramatic sunsets and the best i think the best moment to be in tuscany it's during spring now uh, the way i'm thinking to organize this workshop it's the same as last year or two years before that and we will go to photographs the sunrise and on our way back from the sunrise we will benefit from the morning light and that means that we will stop and we will take the twisted road of tuscany uh, on our way back to the hotel. Then we're going to take breakfast, we're going to have a break, we'll do some editing sessions and then we'll go out and photograph the sunset uh, in a different uh, location or different place. In terms of urban photography for this photo tour in Tuscany, we will not go to famous big towns and the main reason is because they are crowded and it's very difficult to cover the town in only uh, one short visit but we will visit what i think are the best quirky interesting towns of tuscany that are small and maybe some of them are not that well known my goal is to show you some true architecture in from tuscany and to also provide you with the opportunity to photograph it without having all the tourists in, uh, in our shot. So we will visit some, uh, maybe some, some not that well known uh, little towns, but trust me, every participant that went there liked it so much. Now the next photo tour that I wanna to talk about is the Dolomite Mountains. It's gonna be in September, from 7 September to 13 of September. It's gonna be awesome, I mean, uh, if you never been to the Dolomite Mountains, you're going to be amazed about how these mountains look. Uh, I have one participant that said that in 24 hours, starting with the first sunset and ending with the next day sunset, he photographed more than he photographed an entire year. So it's a pretty spectacular place to be. We will be staying at a three-star hotel near Cortina d'Ampezzo and uh, right at the ex exit from Cortina uh, d'Ampezzo. We will be right in the heart of the Dolomites. We will be really close to all the best locations, Cinque Torri, Tre Cime di Lavaredo, Lago di Misurina, Lago Antorno, Lago de Limedes, Paso Giao, Paso di Falsarego, Paso Valparo, all the places that you see photos from, we will go. Also, we will touch down on Seceda and Val di Fiun. These are more remote places from where we are, but we will go there, we will photograph, we will have an entire day dedicated to those places. That is the Gardena region from the Dolomites. And we will try to incorporate in our photo tour all these places. Again, we will photograph in the morning and then come back from, for breakfast, have a short break and then go on a hike for the sunset. Again, I will have two sessions of editing where I'm gonna uh, edit photos and I'm also gonna look at your photos, the photos that you will make during this photo tour. And my goal is to make sure that you go back with the best photos as possible. Now the third photo tour is a real 
let's say, photo tour of my soul because many of you know I'm a, a forest landscape photography primarily. I photograph a lot in forests. So if you want to join me to this workshop, it's gonna take place in October 2020, starting from October 12 and until October 17. It's gonna be five days. It's gonna be on the forest that I'm photographing. So the forest that you see in these vlogs and the places that you see in these vlogs, 90% of these places, you're gonna you're gonna see them live and you're gonna photograph with me. So we're, we're gonna divide our time to photograph inside forest and then on the shore of some beautiful lakes, including uh, the biggest natural dam lake in Romania, which is Cuiesdel Lake. It's probably a name that it's not very often mentioned, but trust me, it's, it's a really beautiful lake. And again, we're gonna photograph in the sunrise, in the morning light. We're also going to have breakfast inside the forest and then we're gonna go back, edit some photos, look at your photos or have a short break, then go out and photograph for the sunset. And when we come back, we also have included uh, the supper or dinner or whatever you want uh, at the local restaurant. Um, it's gonna be a different kind of workshop probably because it's not a workshop that it takes place in those famous places around the world but it's a place that it's dear to me and if you like photographing forests if you like the fairy tale feeling that the forest gives and i think this is the perfect workshop for you and if you enjoy uh, walks in the forest if you enjoy the colors of autumn <laughs> you have to be and participate to this workshop now the Link for all these workshops are in the description of this video. Make sure to click it, check the details. If you have questions about these workshops, use the comment section below if you also have suggestions. I'm also thinking about organizing Tuscany maybe during August or also during October uh, or September. I don't know exactly. If you have suggestions like this, we can do something. So um, make sure to check the details and let me know if you have any questions and i hope i'm going to see you in one of these workshops with me thanks for watching bye bye